A Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth, striving for the hopeful elect, enduring all afflictions, and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai Bashim Rakakwadash Brakatham Akim. All right, I want to go on to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 8 and 9. It says, Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and their forehead, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads, as an adamant har harder than flint have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Okay, and um, that's very true to this very day. You know, the, the men of the Lord, they're not any type of uh, soft individuals, okay? Because the Most High puts His Spirit on you for you to be able to stand against these these wolves, man. You know, these, 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 these like I said right here, this, this rebellious house. And we know people that are rebellious, they come with a real strong spirit as well, okay? But... The, the spirit of the Lord always triumphs, okay? And the face uh, of a man of the Lord, you know, is like Yahweh Shai. He, Yahweh Shai, he didn't have any kind of comely, comeliness to him to where we, we would desire him in the flesh. You know, he looked, you know, he, he looked, he, he was a man, you know? He was a man and he, he had a, a a certain spirit about him to where people, you know, he, they knew that this individual was was a uh, um you know was real or solid, you know or fixed in what it was that he believed in, and there was no moving him. They knew this, and that's how uh, certain brothers, men of the Lord, are. You know, this is a uh, Sirach thirty seven and seventeen. The countenance is a sign of changing of the heart, because the mind is where everything begins and it shows forth through your your physical okay and going back let's go into this word where it says face all right it says the outline of biblical usage face faces uh presence um let's go down see what it says here countenance right it says countenance uh, face, Let's see what it says down here. And it's just Sinius Hebrew child D lexicon. Oh, it's like it ain't gonna let me big it up. Um, let's go into this word forehead. So it says, uh, the root word right here it says, meaning to be clear, that is conspicuous. The outline of biblical usage brow or forehead. Um, let's look up this word conspicuous. It says standing out so as to be clearly visible, uh, easily seen, clear, visible, clearly visible, standing out, noticeable, observable, discernible, uh, perceptible, perceivable, detectable, or obvious. Okay, so the Lord was going to make it obvious. To, to the world that the men of the Lord that they were different okay that they were they were going to stand out and they're going to stand out by way of the of their of the truth of what they believed in that's why you see certain brothers that they don't have a soft look or they don't have that look of of being walked all over that those men are standing firm in the name of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai until the end okay and we have to keep that same spirit till the end and not just put on an act or whatever, you know. So a lot of people think that, you know, because you have a, 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 a strong countenance or a strong spirit that you're evil or bad. No, man, you just, and I'm talking about the brothers that follow within the scriptures, not somebody that's outside of the scriptures that have that, that kind of spirit. But they're not, they're, they're going according to their own flesh, their own thought, their own motivation, their own, you know, their own deal. Not according to the scriptures, not being vexed, not being oppressed, not no, not knowing the truth. Okay, that's why Ezekiel, it was told to him, Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. 
So these individuals are going to be walking around all tough and shit. Well, guess what? Just like Paul said, you, you know, I, I can be strong. I can be confident in the flesh. So, so, so can I. So am I. You know? You know, there's, there's what? You know? And it says, and, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead. You know, it is like when Moses uh, was challenged by the uh, those Egyptian uh, sorcerers and they turned their rods into snakes and, and, and Moses' snake, his rod was turned into a snake and it ate up both of their snakes. Well, guess what? Because that, that one was that supreme one. They're, they're harder than the flint as well, right? But who who has that real that that uh that 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 hard rock, that hard stone it's Yahweh Shai that's our rock you know cuz you have different forms of work, different types of rock stones and stuff like that some are harder than others you know they're unbreakable so that's how the elect are the elect are however the these people want to project guess what we're going to project the same as far as like we're we're going to stand Firm unto the end. You know? So I'm going to bring out another scripture. Well, let me read this one again. Uh, Sirach 36 and 17. The countenance is a sign of a changing of the heart. Just so you can, brothers, understand by way of the spirit and also the physical. Okay, let me see what scripture I was going to bring out. Second Ezra. Second Edges. Second Edges fifteen and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Yahweh, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Okay. So let's go over here to Second Ezra. Chapter 2, uh, verse uh, 47. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High. Right? Because the vision that Ezra saw was the uh, the Son of Man crowning the, uh, the multitude. All right? That's confessed the name of the Lord. So in verse 30, 47, it says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, which is Yahweh Shai, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. You understand? So our minds um, were made as an adamant stone, and it, and it protruded out physically. For people to see Like for example with me Certain people I don't hide certain things From certain people Especially somebody You know Pisses me off And fucks with me Hey they're gonna They're gonna see it You know They're gonna know it It's just like An open book Brothers say We're, we're like A written epistle We're easily read In the sense of a, hey, You know I mean there's certain things That they don't know Some things are a mystery But you know The heart The heart don't lie Like people say The eyes don't lie you know, but you know, regarding these uh these wicked two thirds and these heathens, they're gonna feel it, man. You know, you brothers, some brothers may know what I'm talking about. These motherfuckers, these people just don't want to have nothing to do with fucking with you. You know, they they fall in their lane. These demons, they know certain ones. They certain demons do push it to the limit or go to a certain length to where they try to test you and try you. But mo majority of the the ones they they know to stay out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? To fall back. And I ain't trying to test no spirits, nothing like that. That's not not what I'm trying to prove here. What I'm trying to prove is the Lord had had made His men strong men, spiritually strong men, whether it be the spirit, physical. They're both uh, strong in this in that sense, you know, mingle with faith, you know. So with that, I hope it was edifying. Until next, I want to say shalom.